So you got 12 months before your automation skills are worth absolutely nothing. Everyone's trying to learn NA10, make.com or become experts at them. And they think they found the gold mine. While they're learning which buttons to press. And it's then just released natural language automation building. And you describe what you want built and then it just builds it for you. A 10 year old can now do what took you months to learn. I know exactly what's coming because I've experienced this pattern destroying entire careers at least twice before. I'm going to show you why your automation expertise is on a countdown to zero, the one opportunity that you have left and that the window closes in less than two years. This is going to piss off a lot of people in this space, but it just might save your career. In 1980s, being a computer operator was a real job, knowing on how to turn on the computer and run real programs. People actually got paid for this. And in the early 2000s, that job didn't really exist anymore. Why? Because everyone learned on how to push those buttons and it became commoditized. Schools taught it. Now, to those computer operators, the stuff that they knew now became worthless. And in the 90s, web developers hard-coded everything and wrote HTML by hand. Knowing on how to write a div tag was an absolute superpower. Then Wix happened, Squarespace happened. And in 2025 now, my grandma could build a website using Lovable in around two minutes flat. Now those skills can now be done by anyone. And right now in 2025, I'm watching this exact same thing happen to automation experts. And this time it's happening faster than those two examples that I was showing you. And I remember I spent entire weekends creating NA10 and make.com scenarios. But today you can literally just talk to Claude or ChatGPT and he can build you step-by-step -step instructions or a um, some kind of JSON that you can just paste right into uh, these platforms. Yet people are still being sold the dream of become a make.com or NA10 expert and make $10,000 a month. So I've watched this happen numerous times and they spend up to like eight months just learning these tools and making no money in between whatsoever, thinking that their expertise is the thing that makes them rich. But then something, something like the release of NA10 or natural language automation release, you just type in with words you, what you want built and then it builds it for you. I'm going to be honest, as of 2025, this thing probably isn't the one-shot prompt wonder that we think it would be but given time and that's what i'm saying in time these things will become really good at building out the back ends that you hope to have and then anyone in the world will be, will be able to do this so this means that the skill that you're learning now will become obsolete and just an example just to drive that nail even more uh six months ago or more it took a couple people experienced devs to build a mvp SaaS at the very least and now I did this and last week I just built one. It took me three hours. It was a white label uh, VAPI solution for plumbers. And this thing has Stripe integrations. It has a dashboard. It has the ability to call. It handles all my subscriptions. I literally did it in three hours. In a few months time, it will be a lot easier to do this even more. So I can imagine in some time, let's say in the next two years, You'll just be able to talk to an interface and I'm not saying to be something like cursor, but you'll just be able to talk to it and it could just create you anything that you want. So you're missing a thing in your business. You talk to it and it builds you the thing. All those SaaS platforms that people are playing for, all those CRMs, it'll most likely just be able to build you your own private thing. So if you are an A to Z owner, here's the brutal truth no one is really telling you. When you get on calls with business owners, they do not give a shit whether you are a N10 expert, whether you know AWS or VAPI like the back of your hand. They care about whether you can solve their problem and whether you understand their pain points. It's literally I've been a guy in 2005 who was really good at burning CDs. Yeah, sharing music was very valuable, but knowing the perfect like burn speed, disc brands, that became completely worthless when the iPod came out. I think it was like in 2006 or 8. And then now like Spotify's here. Like no one even knows what a CD is. So that's what I'm saying. That guy that learned all that stuff on how to become an expert in the tech part of, let's say, CDs. It's the same thing I'm trying to tell you guys here. 
like being a tech expert at NA10 is going to become obsolete. You should learn on how to talk to business owners and help them solve problems. Because this tech stuff, it will expire. So if automation is dead, what actually will make you money in this like next two years? I think there's only one space left in the AI space that will not be commoditized and saturated, where you'll be able to still charge premium prices, even if it's not just for your expertise. And I'm talking like a 1K projects to $35,000 projects. And that space is voice AI. And here's why it's different. Right now, voice AI is at the same stage where Learning Make or NA10 was like in 2022 or three. And I mean, like really make work, not just a demo and not just something that you can go on a VAP or retail and just like type in a couple sentences into the prompt. There's something very real about the ability of making the voice AI agent actually work properly in production. And I mean like 20,000 calls in a week or so. How do you deal with so many calls, so many edge cases, and uh, with possible errors that could come up. How do you make this conversation as smooth as possible or the user experience as smooth as possible so that the customers that call up a business that's fully satisfied with with the help that they received? And honestly, like that shit is hard. You gotta spend hundreds of hours testing and building and learning these things. And I've got to say, the current LLMs, if you talk to ChatGPT or Claude, they cannot help you with this stuff. Um, they could help you create a prompt, but it's not a prompt that will actually work in production. They're going to give you lots of gibberish here and there. And, and trust me, I've tried it. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't work. So this is exactly where you could come in. The entry barrier is still really high that an expertise is extremely rare. I mean, we get so many leads every day that we cannot handle them. Just the other day, I gave away six projects. I literally gave them away completely for free. Not that even ask for a referral because I just cannot be bothered handling that much volume anymore. Like I just passed it on because I mean, why not? I want to give everyone else the chance to also help businesses out in the real world. So what is actually closing deals right now in the voice to space? It goes from the small projects, icebreaker offers, but I think the thing that's working the most right now for our students is uh, audits or consults. So these students have already built like five or six projects themselves, or they have some already some business experience, e either one or the other, or both. We had a student who just closed a 12K deal for a company, and initially they were a bit skeptic. They said, well, we don't really want to build any voice AR stuff or any automations just because we don't want to drop you the money and like have, have it wasted and have our time wasted. We said, well, what if we sit down, it would be you, the ops and one of your like receptionists. So the, the person that like runs the business pretty much. And we just talk about what you guys do on a day to day basis. And we just try and figure out where we should laser focus to send our money and our time to. And they agreed, 12K was actually his first project uh, was for 12K. Think about this, he didn't tell them that he was an NA10 expert, which is actually quite good at it and, and some coding, but he definitely wasn't selling the tech because he was trying to help them solve problems. I actually had another consult the other day, it just went on for like uh, a couple hours and just to make a TLDR was he had he had 24 locations and he wanted everything built for those 24 locations. And I just know from experience that it's better just to focus on one area of the business. So I said, well, what if out of those 24 locations, you have to pick one. And if you just have to pick one and get the best return on investment for that location, which one would it be? He thought about it. He said, well, how about the sales one? But I just kept on digging further into it and I asked questions like, so you picked sales. How come you picked that one out of all the 24 locations? Well, he says, well, I have 30 people doing outbound and taking inbound calls every single day. And I was like, well, that then cost you about what, like half a mil plus a year, He's like more. He said, all right, what if you handle 80% of those calls for you? And instead of it costing half a mil, we could at least get it down to 100K. So here's what I'm seeing that works consistently in my community and with my students. 
is and and myself and my business partner actually we use voice AI as the wedge offer if they are already solution aware so, so solution aware people are people who have seen our youtube channel they maybe watched a few vapi videos and they come to us and they really know more or less what this thing is now if you don't if you don't know what voice AI is you're never going to pitch voice AI you're going to pitch the actual solution you're not going to pitch you're coaching them or you're giving them enough information so they can make the best informed decision about what they want to by themselves you're not actually selling them anything you're just giving them information so they come to us because they know that something is broken and needs fixing so they come to us the experts because voice AI is so difficult to actually make it sound right work right and uh, function properly with with everything because we are not only conversational artists we actually have to make more than like three things work smoothly together in tandem just to create the illusion of speaking to a human. This knowledge just comes from a hundred, like hundreds of hours of testing, analyzing, changing things and learning things by hand. And yeah, I mean, like while people are fighting over $500 projects on Fiverr, and I mean, Fiverr is an absolute cesspool right now. I'm not sure if you've been on there. Upwork's probably better. Uh, AR consultants for voice are closing deals for like 12K at, for the first project. So I don't want to sell that dream. But we do have a 19 year old who's making 24k a month 19 year old making 24k a month from a mixture of selling solutions and, and doing consulting and this is because these guys learn to listen first and coach and then they focus on the tech stuff in the next 12 to 8 months the whole automation market becomes hyper saturated and commoditized and it will be really easy to create backends for any kind of system but this means that that skill will become completely worthless like i actually don't think you will even need to know what a webhook and api is at that point it will just the ai will just do everything for us and i'd say up to like 18 to 36 months voice our platforms start to become easier you'll just be able to click a few buttons deploy everything from from that one spot instead of having even to do a backend everything will just be done for us and this means that the barrier will start lowering and this is then what will happen then is what's kind of happening to the automation space right now but we still got like let's say two or three years leeway before that actually happens and this is where the gold mine opportunity is and i guess the only question is whether you move before the window closes so here's your choice you keep on learning any turn and automation and you compete with thousands of people building like 500 dollars projects on fiverr if you are not getting clients right now, it's probably the issue. Like you're probably feeling it as well. But in 12 months time, it'll be a lot worse. Or I can see the second path and you can then now jump to the voice AI niche in the AI space. You can build real systems for real businesses, help solve real problems. Over the next two years, you could establish it as the authority and this would mean building a portfolio, a few templates. So you could maybe like templatize your solution once you get some data. You can even build IP and then maybe even an exit. And what I mean by that is just like you'll most likely build some kind of SaaS. You will have some kind of money in it and then you could sell that off to uh, the next potential person that actually wants to use the solution that you created. And if you're serious about the move, you can join my free school community. You can start learning on how to build voice our systems there. Me and my business partner really spent a lot of time building up the biggest voice our community in the world right now. I mean, we've got like 6.2K or 6.1K people right now. And the clock is ticking. So what are you going to do about it? Anyway, the link's below. See you inside.